I know we all remember this. Today marks two years since northern Utah was rocked by an earthquake. The magnitude 5.7 quake struck at 7.09 a.m. while well, Good Day Utah was still on the air. Check this out. We're, we have an earthquake and we're sheltering in place. Yeah, silence there as everyone was trying to assess oh, yeah. what was happening until Frightening. Yeah, Damon let everyone know indeed what they thought was happening was really happening. The quake yeah. rattled, of course, nerves and caused millions of dollars worth of damage. Magna endured the most significant damage. Bricks fell from buildings on Main Street. Rubble blocked sidewalks and roads. But a silver lining, most people were safe at home. It was super grateful for COVID at that point because all of those kids were not walking to school when the earthquake happened. Much of Magna's Main Street has since been repaired, and despite the quake, no one was seriously injured or killed. During Fox 13 News Live at noon today, anchor Amy Nay spoke with the Division of Emergency Management about what you should be doing in case of an earthquake or any natural disaster. Amy joins us now from the newsroom with an in-depth look at how you can prepare. Amy? Well, Bob, bottom line here is that two years ago, that massive quake centered in Magna served as a bit of a wake-up call for many of us. Some families now giving their preparedness a closer look. After all, experts say, if you be prepared, you need not fear. But one of the biggest things we saw after the quake was anxiety. Wade Matthews with the Division of Emergency Management speaking to Fox 13 News Friday. We do want this to be a wake-up call for people to take action towards preparedness. Describing the actions his department has taken since the devastating quake two years ago in Magna. So there is a lot going on in the state to help um, address the situation and reduce the risk from, from buildings that could be more susceptible to earthquake. The first ever Be Ready Utah Expo was held last month and well attended, Matthews believes, because people are starting to give their preparedness more thought. Meanwhile, on the state website, BeReadyUtah.gov, more on what you can do, not only in an earthquake, before, during, and after the event, but also in case of natural disaster like flood, severe weather, wildfire, and more. Just know the risks where you live and learn the protective actions and, and add those elements to your preparedness. Like looking into flood insurance or creating defensible space around your home if you live in an urban interface surrounded by the mountains or grassy areas where wildfires may be prone. But our disaster supply kits, food and water storage, communications plans are for all hazards, but it's important to know the risks where we live. Now, the state legislature just this past session allotted some $171 million to help shore up unreinforced school buildings, among other things. As for the next big event put on by the Division of Emergency Management, it's the Great Utah Shakeout. You may have heard that one. It's next month and reminds us all what to do when the next earthquake hits. In the newsroom, Amy Ney, Fox 13 News, Utah.